Reef Catchments has been undertaking works to improve water quality and aquatic and terrestrial health within the region through a range of activities, including bank stabilisation on some of the region's major rivers. One river system where Reef Catchments has been working is the O'Connell River south of Proserpine. The O'Connell River is one of the four major river systems in the Mackay Whitsunday region, forming at the base of the Clark Connor Range. This river provides areas of important aquatic and terrestrial habitat for native species and is an important water source for irrigating productive grazing and sugarcane land. The O'Connell River has been identified as a significant contributor of sediment to the Great Barrier Reef, with a large proportion derived from channel erosion. In an effort to reduce sediment and nutrient exports and improve aquatic health of the river, Reef Catchments commissioned a stability assessment to understand the location, cause and extent of channel erosion through the O'Connell River. With funding provided through the Australian Government's Reef Program, a LiDAR capture of the river was taken to be able to develop digital elevation models of difference by overlaying LiDAR from 2013 with LiDAR from 2009. The digital elevation model of difference was used to assess sediment loss over the four-year period. Combined with an analysis of stream power and the use of hydraulic modelling, Reef Catchments was able to identify and prioritise on-ground actions to reduce the supply of sediment and nutrients to the Great Barrier Reef. Working with landholders, Reef Catchments has been undertaking works along the O'Connell River to prevent future channel change. This particular site lost 9,000 cubic metres of riverbank, or the equivalent of 900 dump trucks, between 2009 and 2013, and was expected to continue to lose considerably more over the coming years. Because of this potential for continued loss, it has been listed as a high priority site. To stabilise the bank and minimise future losses, a range of options were identified. They ranked from low cost with a high risk of failure to high cost with a low risk of failure. Working with the landholder to identify potential resources, the selected option was a two metre rock toe which ranked as having a high likelihood of success. This design includes a 1 metre toe below the bed with 1 metre exposed above. This will stabilise the toe and prevent the bottom of the bank from being scoured. The near vertical bank was then reprofiled down to the toe at a slope of 1 metre vertical, 2.5 metres horizontal. This will allow the energy of the river to dissipate as it moves higher up the bank. The bank was then revegetated with native species, which will ultimately stabilise the bank by providing a mix of ground cover, understory and canopy species. Over time, as silt is deposited on the rock toe, further revegetation will occur, providing long-term stabilisation of the bank. Finally, large woody debris was pinned into the bank to encourage scour of the bed. This will create a refuge for aquatic species including fish during the dry season and also aid in promoting revegetation by trapping seeds. Once complete, these works aim to make significant difference to the quality of the water leaving the property, reducing pollutant and runoff levels both in our region's waterways and to the reef.